How do you ensure that you can capture and keep your audience's attention from your first words when there's an elephant in the room? Well, that was a challenge I faced this week. I just spoke for a financial group in Denver, Colorado, and the main event of the entire three days was going to be an interview with legendary NFL quarterback Peyton Manning. If you don't follow American football, Peyton Manning is one of the greatest players ever, and he's a, a real popular commercial pitch man these days. He's got terrific personality. Sponsors love him. So I knew that going in, this was going to be an issue, but I didn't realize how much until I got to the event and Peyton Manning was the talk of the entire conference for the whole three days. Now I was scheduled to be the opening keynote for the third day. Peyton Manning would close it out later that day. Now in pr uh, preparing my speech, my buddy Ray gave me an idea. He said, you need to open your speech with one word. And that word is Omaha. Now, if you know anything about Peyton Manning, you know what that word means. If you don't, it's simply this. It is a the name of a play call that he had. It's his most famous play call in American football. The quarterback looks over the defense, and sometimes he has to change the play. That was the term he used, Omaha. So Ray suggested open with that. It'll get a big laugh. Well, while I was at the event, I also realized Ray's suggestion was even more brilliant than he realized. I knew that I, when I got up to speak that third day, Peyton Manning was going to be on everybody's mind because they were going to see him later that day. I had to get Peyton Manning out of their heads at least for 45 minutes while I spoke. So here's what I did. I took Ray's idea. I was introduced, walked out on stage, looked at everybody and said, Omaha! Got a pretty good big laugh. I explained what it meant for people who weren't NFL fans. And then I said, I know what you may be thinking. I can't wait to see Peyton Manning. I woke up this morning and I thought I get to see Peyton Manning. I might even meet him. The reason I know that is because I woke up this morning and I thought, oh my gosh, I get to see Peyton Manning. I might get to meet Peyton Manning. And then another voice in my head said, hey, You've got to give a speech, stupid. <laughs> Get focused. It got a huge laugh. And then I said, I get it. He's not going to be here for a couple of hours, though. Since I'm here, we're here together. Why don't we have some fun and learn about storytelling? And people said, yeah, let's do it. Mission accomplished. I cleared their headspace and got them focused on my talk for the next 45 minutes. So question for you. If you're giving a presentation, you're at an event, and there's a big-name person there. Or if you're at an event, and there is a specific uh, event that has occurred that is capturing people's attention, how will you get rid of the elephant in the room so you can clear their headspace? You've got to address it. Find a way, and if you can do it creatively, depending on the experience, if it's something that's a bad event or a tragedy, obviously you don't want to make fun of it or laugh, but you can't ignore it. If you do, you risk them not paying attention to what you're saying. Good luck at your next event. and You've got to deal with a big celebrity. And if you need to, pull out Omaha!